Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Erin. Today I would like to show you how I am utilizing my 2018-2019 Erin Condren Life Planner. So I have the Bold Bouquet cover on it um, in lavender. So as you can kind of tell, it's my favorite cover. I have it in several different colors. So I've been in it for a week now. Um, today's July 2nd. So I went in and uncoiled it and added a couple of little things to it. Dashboard is the same. I added the petals vellum, so it's like double vellumed. And then I have my intro page. Um, I have the business card from the Erin Condren store. That's a memory I always want to hold on to. Um, just some little note cards and some little short affirmations. Picture of me so they know who to return it to. Now on that front page, what I've done, and there's a little bit of a glare because I'm filming inside today. Um, I went in and I took and printed out some pictures from the first half of the year that were very memorable and just events and moments that stood out to me. Um, so I can capture them and have them in this book without having to go back and pull another book out to share photos or memories. This book is going to strictly be decorative and memory keeping. And it is gonna have a couple of little um, functional aspects to it. But mostly, I want this to be a creative outlet for me. Um, hole punched one of my little cards. So I'm using colored dots on the front, um, on the yearly um, calendar that has July 2018 through December 2019. And then I just put my color key on the back and it's just attached to a coil clip. It makes it easy to go in and out. That way, you know, I can position it wherever I need to in the planner. And I just went a few months out. I'll start dropping dots um, in it once I get back into a traditional nine to five job again. So the next page is going to be my dream board, my goal setting, and it's really more of a work in progress. So I don't want to go in and fill them all up with desires that I have today because six months from now there may be something new that excites me that I want to focus on. And it just gives me a chance if I decorate it a little bit of time, it keeps bringing me back to it. So that's how I'm using that. And then I have my note pages, a couple of permanent notes, and then I'm just tipping in little pieces of note paper with notes that maybe I want to position somewhere else in the planner or something that may change based on a project that I'm working on. So what I have added is this additional piece of paper. This one came out of the 2018 Deluxe Monthly Planner. I wanted a little bit more room for my month overview um, so I could just get a better overall feel for what's going on and have room to go in and just jot notes down. Um, again, tip in little notes if I need to. And then to add a memory page. So these are photos from yesterday because technically yesterday was July 1st. So I figured I could put those in for my July memories. Um, probably add some pictures from the 4th of July and any other little cute pictures. Um, little card um, that I've just attached in there. I'm probably going to end up punching that and adding it to the coil. I just haven't had a chance to slow down and do that yet. Um, but it's for some flowers that were delivered when I was in the hospital. Then you go into your monthly overview. Officially yesterday started my no spend. I did make it through yesterday with the no spend. And then we have our month. So this is my first week of July, which is actually the last week of June. Um, used a sticker kit by Mint Gem Paper Co. It's one you can print yourself. Um, added my sleep trackers in there, just some daily habit trackers. I need to mark that my husband was home. So just kind of not as detailed as you've seen in some of my other planning videos. 
This one is a mixture of two kits that I printed and cut myself. Um, Bling Bling and Planner and Gumption are the two that did this one. <coughs> so I'm trying to think if there are any other elements in this one. Nope, that one's it. And then for next week. So next week starts the Wild 30 um, classes. If you haven't seen a Wild 30 class before, it's a 30 day online challenge basically. Um, the one I signed up for this year or for this quarter is lettering. Um, I feel like I have decent handwriting, but I'd like to learn how to do some of these fancier, fancier fonts. Um, so, I don't know, just to help inspire me and because this is memory keeping, I wanted to signify that this was going to be the week that that um, Mama's Love Lettering class starts. These are the new sidebar trackers by Birds Fly Studio. I have a video um, that I posted and I'll put that in the description of what all I ordered on this haul. So there's a haul video with these sidebar trackers in it. And then we get into our August. This kit looks funny and I know it doesn't look traditional to what we're used to seeing and that's because this is one I did 100% completely and totally on my own. So this is one I designed all by myself. Um, so it's probably different from what we've seen in the past. And then we get into our August. So I had something very specific in mind for August. Now these little photo stickers are the Erin Condren um, photo stickers. You buy a sheet. Oh, I don't know. It had a ton of little stickers on it. And you get to pick the pictures that you want made into these little circles. So that was a lot of fun. And then I don't really have anything else decorated. I just have some sticky notes for events that are coming up. Oh, my table slid. Oh, that was scary. Okay, is the camera gonna fall? Okay, camera didn't fall. Then we come back into the back section. This is where I covered up. I was practicing foiling the pages and it looked really bad. So I just kind of covered that up on the notes page. I have a credit tracker with a little inspirational quote about the importance of credit. Um, let's go to the movies, a list of movies that I'd like to see as they come out on DVD or in the movie theater. And then things that I would like to watch on Netflix. I have um, some other list pages that I want to set up in this particular one. Um, some trips and things like that, but you can see I've added just a few extra pages from a notebook in the back before you get into the dot grid paper and the coloring page. And I'm using the coloring page more to kind of test pens to see if they bleed or not. So you can kind of see which ones bled through. So that's a neat thing that you can do with these pages. Um, also, people have used them as like mood trackers. So every day, whatever color represents your mood, you would go in and color a little section. I like the idea of using them to test pens and you can see what pens bleed or not. Took the pocket out of the back just because it bulked it up a little bit. So that is how I am using my 2018-2019 Life Planner um, to kind of help with my on the day on the go. I kind of Franken planned a notebook and I believe I have a video up already with the notebook where I went in and added some monthly pages and the note pages and then I just have note pages in the back to help me stay a little bit more focused and a little bit more on task. And then the way I use this is I just come in and mark each day with an ongoing list. Now I'm really excited. I have the new monthly deluxe um, ordered, which is actually kind of already set up like this. It's actually set up better. Um, because it has your month, it's gonna be tabbed, then you're gonna have like four pages of note paper, I believe. And then I ordered 80 pages of notebook paper in the back. So I can kind of utilize it as this bullet journal. But this is really a great way if your days fluctuate and you don't have a 
a set schedule, you can kind of come in and say, okay, Monday, and this is everything that I need to get done. And then you can see Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I really didn't have anything going on Saturday and Sunday. You can drop in a grocery list. I didn't do anything on Monday. I was off that particular Monday. So my next day picks up with Tuesday. And then I come in and start laying my work week out again. And then this was the last one where I used it. It was my last day at work and just some things that I wanted to make sure that got done in the last two weeks I've been on bed rest and recuperating. So honestly, starting today, I will probably come back in and start using some of these pages um, to kind of just get back in the swing of things and just get back into a routine. It, it's kind of hard sometimes um, when you've been off and not engaged in your normal day to day. In the back, I have a pocket and then I slipped just a notepad in the back to have notes on the go. Um, and then I just have the post-it notes and it has like my shop codes. Um, what my goals are for this notebook. What is it that I want to accomplish? So they kind of work in hand in hand together, but this just drops into my purse very nicely and I take that with me. So hope that's given you some ideas on how you can utilize your life planner and a notebook together to stay um, functional throughout the day and stay focused. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. I try to get back to them as quickly as possible. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to see other videos, please don't forget to hit subscribe. My goal is to have more content up on a regular basis and I'm gonna, I'm off work. Uh, I don't have a full-time job right now. I don't have a job. So hopefully things will become a little bit more routine in the channel and we'll start getting more content up on a regular basis. I do have some sticker hauls coming in, so I hope you enjoy those. Uh, again, hit subscribe. If you hit the little bell, you'll get a notification when new videos come up. Until then, remember, we all got a plan. We just all do it a little bit differently. Thanks.